Code Talker by Joseph Bruchak, published by the Penguin Group. Please excuse my reading of many of the Navajo words in this novel. Listen, my grandchildren. Grandchildren, you asked me about this metal of mine. There is much to be said about it. This small piece of metal holds a story that I was not allowed to speak for many winters. It is the true story of how Navajo Marines helped America win a great war. There is much that I must remember to speak for this metal, to tell its story as it should be told. I must remember not only the great secret with which I was trusted, but also all that happened to me and those like me. That is a lot. But I think that I can do it well enough. After all, I was expected to remember as were the other men trained with me. The lives of many men depended entirely on our memories. Look here. The man you see riding a horse on the back of this medal was an Indian. He is also one of those raising that flag there behind him. I knew him when we were both young men. His name was Ira Hayes. He was a fine person, even though he was not one of our people, but Okimel a Odom, a Pima Indian. We both fought on a distant island far off in the Pacific Ocean. There was smoke all around us from the exploding shells, the snapping sound of Japanese twenty-five caliber rifles, the thumping of mortars, and the rattling of machine guns. We could hear the pitiful cries of wounded men, our own marines, and the enemy soldiers, too. It was a terrible battle, but our men were determined as they struggled up that little mountain. On top of it is where Ira was photographed raising the flag of Nahima. I was not one of those who fought to the top of Mount Sarabachi, but I had my own special part to play. I helped send the message about our success, about the brave deeds so many Marines did that day for Nahima. Nahima, our mother. That is the Navajo word we chose to mean our country, this United States. It was a good name to use. When we Indians fought on those far-off islands, we always kept the thought in our minds that we were defending our mother the sacred land that sustains us. Nahima is only one of the Navajo words we chose for places with Biligana names. South America became Shada a Nahima, our mother to the south. Alaska we called Bihai, with winter. Because we knew that Britain is an island, we gave it the name of Tota, surrounded by water. When we did not know much about a place, we described something about the people there. So we named Germany Bish Bish Ashi, Iron Hat, and Japan was Benai Adults Ozai, Slant Eyed. Sometimes we didn't know much about either the country or the people there, but that did not stop us. We used our sense of humor and played with the English. The word we used for Spain was Dibi Denai, which means sheep pain. But I'm getting ahead of myself. I have not even explained to you yet why we made up such names. I have not told you why being able to speak our Navajo language, the same Navajo language they tried to beat out of me when I was a child, was so important during World War II. It was because I was a Navajo code talker. What was a code talker? And what did we code talkers do? Why was the secret we shared so great that we could not even tell our families about it until long after the war ended? You cannot weave a rug before you set up the loom. So I will go back to the beginning, pound the posts in the ground, and build the frame. I will start where my own story of words and warriors begins. <laughs> Yo, 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 yo,